fear of clouds. Because then we balance it with fear in character. Yeah, 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 it is. Flying drone is about to be put in position. And thus, they should be aware. No, they might have not actually checked the top of the rafters there. Teb, however, thinks he's been droned out. Falls back instantly. Well, that's it. Teb pulls himself. Bulls is making some good progress. The construction is uh, under their control now, looking to find themselves a way into logistics as well. That is going to be the more difficult part. P4 finds Skiddy, though, down below. That is going to be one part of verticality gone. Teb, however, retaking that place, having, of course, a C4 in hand, and we'll try to look and use that. Teb, he got himself in the place. Kai gets the crossfire over the top, but it's Bibu inside the site with one, with two. Still two more to find. He's on the cam the whole time, and... Well, with Teb underneath and Leader on the side itself, you assume this should be an easy pickup. They're tucked on the corner. There's the spray team to get the 7-0. And they stand. I'm bold now. <laughs> and Skiddy might be the first dot connected Mowgli. Gets the cutoff. Gets the... I think that might have been a runner that happened around Garage. And as we said, the quick pressure that's coming down onto Dirt. They're looking to shut him down. They come from multiple different directions here. You see one walking into the construction as we speak. Nave is going to be able to find that kill instantly. Drops back towards the bar. He's concerned about someone holding on towards Pit and instead rotates further away from P4, whether it's a premonition or whether it's just good intuition. By the way, P4 is actually the next to suffer. Teb, he offered some support, tries to get a bite out of Rise on the way back through the door, does a bit of damage, but with a minute on, and this is the pace Wolves have talked about before. They get themselves set up by the site so quickly they can sort of have these engagements and still have a lot of time left for T. Nave of that goo mine, but there was another one. BB stepped right in it. It's going to be quite safe for him to uh, pull that one out, though. And as Rice finds Kaya, Casilli 2 and 3 situation. However, it's Teb that was watching the hatch. will find one kill. It's up to Leader and Teb now on the defense of Navi to keep this shut down. They cannot afford to lose rounds this early on. 15 seconds to go, and Tab, he's sort of eyeing up Bibu. Oh, he gets him right in the back. Bibu swung a bit too wide. Rise blinds himself. He's looking for the fight on the approach. They've got a bit of width, but the kit caught in the middle. The pre-fires come across the bow. Two seconds. The boxes a bit too quickly used there of that um, phone call to make sure that they can get rid of that bulletproof as Kitty just manages to find the first kill. That's Mowgli shut down. Instantly needs to fall back because while this top floor is quite important, it's not quite worth losing all your life. Slightly faulted. We talked about wanting to see you be that full strike and P4 being taken off with a quick swing back from Bibu. Might be a bit of the surprise. Bibu gets one more before Naif and Leader suddenly find one apiece and suddenly it's a three versus one a minute on. But... Wolves there have punished the retreating players from Teb. This is awareness court. Naif sure is. Bibu gets the first off, and for the first time, they're starting to see some suffer on the end of it. Not entirely sure what the swing was against Naif there, but look at this. The Wolves, they're circling around onto the gym side. There's still players underneath, but there's also Wolves players there as well. The Habana on a hunt, seeing if they can try and lock out Teb in the C4. Teb is able to win that fight, and P4 is the one that's caught out now with Teb underneath. Kayak's the one inside the site. The pressure's coming across. They've dug themselves in and tucked onto the angle. Mowgli gets it. 10 seconds. Shinka. He's trying to find a pocket to try and put the plant down. Tucked around on the corner, but Leader, he's on the cold hop. He's able to get the strike. The kick goes cold. Five seconds, right time, right place. The two versus one, technically. No down anymore. Panic starts themselves down. Nafe's here. He's returned. He looked like he was actually pulling away, but he knows he's being watched, and BB gets the kill. Not worth losing two lives to what was a very good close down. There is still one player at the top of red, but around the stock as well. Mew Jammers are being taken out. They haven't drawn him out. Now they have. Mowgli shuts him down. And this is looking like Wolves might be able to put their first round on the board here as they are finding quite some pace. But with 90 seconds left, Skiddy still up above the stock hatch. If they do not drone that out, that might be detrimental. Oh, Skiddy, will he get the strike? He gets one down. He's looking for the second fight and pre-fires the angle to get out of there. A huge bite back. They're able to get at least use is going to be the stock one. So they need to find a different way in. And it seems like it will be the blue steps. But Skiddy is still playing out there, but gets taken out quickly. That means blue is now under control. If they manage to extend this, yes, they do. Mowgli just walks him and gets blown up by the EDD, leaving only up to leader now. Oh, leader, this could be a huge moment to bring themselves back in. The planting behind the third box. You know they're locked in, and Wolves aren't overextending this time. They've lost plants at the dying seconds before 45 on the clock. The tuck and the reveal on the fence here on Clubhouse. Down Kayak. Bit of a heavy hit. You can see leaders in a position there alongside it. It's Skiddy that gets Mowgli, takes out the first kill on the door itself, waits for a second. The breach is happening on towards there, the jacuzzi side.
to find the target there, but leader stays spooked, doesn't take a single point of damage. Oh, he's wasting so much time here. He knows they've got to try and root him out, and he takes out Shinker on the way through the door. That outer can keep singing, and it's ready to sing its favorite song. There's a triple kill across the board. Leader holds it down in the bedroom. Only one in the kitchen. Going to pay some attention to it. Looks away at the worst oh. time, Bibu. Gets gifted the take there. He did not expect Naif, but thankfully for, I guess, Bibu's sake, Naif did not expect Bibu. Naif heard some noise. It must have been. He probably thought it was coming from his back, but instead it was his front. And as Rise now takes it. And Kayaki wants to take the fight, but sooner or later he's just going to have to take the fight. It's a shotgun swing. You need some attention drawn elsewhere. There's the drop. There's the hold. There's Bibu. Cuts him off with the shotgun. Goes for the rotate round on the opposite side. Ready with the SMG. Mowgli takes a bit of damage on the far end. There's one more for Bibu. A triple kill and Mowgli. Naif will be kicking himself over that one a little bit because sort of holding on to one side where Bibu has had the biggest impact this game and in the run and Arvi is on the other but is the next court off leader gets the trade out as rise finds tab and kayak finds one more it's shink and now caught off by kayak and a trade back on from rise he's looking towards the kit but he's out of time no room potentially the last site will also had to hoping and holding on and I guess giving the impression that maybe somebody's going to swing for them and they can try and punish it as the smoke's come with the drop. Nafe offers some support, but is quickly caught out by Teb, who shoots him in the back of the head, and Ryze and Shinka pick up the rest. Uh, good idea. Unfortunately, poorly executed there. Just caught their own player in the sort of engagement, the fire. And, and as the first kill comes through, he's left with very little HP to try and make the rest happen. So looking unlikely like he'll actually be able to pick it up, but he, at least he has the talent shield to play with. This is well of... You know, oil pit. He realizes there might be something else. Oh, B4 had the opposite angle. They thought it was a bit safer than it was based on the impact player, but the impact players pulled back. That grenade rolls just far enough to get rid of that shield. I think they didn't expect Mowgli to be there. Otherwise, they might have cooked that slightly differently, but either way, it does rid of a huge bit of utility. Yeah, Mowgli just rotated back from underneath that hatch, so they definitely didn't think someone would be out there. Smokes are coming through, though, and that means the Execute is upon us to have the first one to enter, but P4 prone on the ground will be catching him off guard. Five on three, Diffuser now down on the main stairs. They need to try and recover that or go for all kills. With 20 seconds left on the clock, it's definitely going to be a very difficult ask here for Na'Vi, especially if Mowgli takes down one more. It's only up to Skitty now on that knock, but with 10 HP. There it was, round the side of the half song mattress but it's Mowgli that finds Teb and takes the first body off the board kayak he's looking wider and wider there's a player that swings into a bit of an angle Bibu suffers and Skiddy he's ready to rise up but it's Rise that rises right back in towards them gets that take that grenade tucked onto the corner but P4 he's able to get one in the door it's suddenly once again one Navi player left Bibu is down at this moment in time he's just clearing out the stair set itself he's able to at least cement the maestro but look at this well, you assume this is pretty much impossible to lose now. Yeah, and it's a mission impossible for Skitty here. Gets taken out from the pond, though, by Wolves. That will be their slash. <gasps> oh, it's a spray through the door and the lock-off on the other one. Leader finds his first kill in a couple of rounds. It's against Mowgli, but it took about roughly two minutes, just shy off, to hunt the first player down. The side itself. Obviously, is still tucked far away. It's also going to be stopping any player from Na'Vi that is coming in, though, you think. But Skitty just walks through, finds the head of Rise, brings it up there at three on five. Bibi now on the staircase is going to find the next engagement here. Takes down Leader, hopes to rotate back up to get over Shinka. P4 finds the kill as well before Kai strikes back. Brings it to a two on three. The fire is still down. At least it cannot push in as Shinka finds a long headshot. Gets instantly punished, though. It's only up to Bibu now. He finds one. Brings himself only up against Nave. Look at the timer. There's only eight seconds left. He needs to go for the plant. But there is going to be verticality that could be used. He he needs to dig himself in well here. Oh, just caught on a cam at the last possible second. Bibu Away. doesn't quite get the connection with the no, impact. No, 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 no. The ping is wrong. He's out of time, out of place, and the plant goes down. Still a one versus one, but the fight's on the stairs.